Okay, hi, uh, my name is Harrison O'Hara. I'm a mobile BIM technician within Costane, and I'm going to be talking to you today about mobile technology and our approach towards mobile technology. So innovation is really at the heart of our business and improving the way we operate through innovation and technology is key to our future success. In recent years, the massive increase in affordable and consumer mobile tablets has provided unprecedented opportunity for us to make significant improvements to our business processes. So I'm going to provide you with a very brief high-level presentation outlining our approach towards mobile technology. So I'll quickly just run through the agenda of my presentation. Um, I'll give you a quick introduction to myself, um, our approach towards mobile technology, what MobiCloud is, um, future considerations of where mobile technology will have an impact to our business. Very briefly touch on how we've used augmented reality. Um, some of the challenges we face with mobile technology in general. Um, and then I'll summarize at the end. Okay, so this is an introduction to me. Um, I was a Loughborough graduated, graduated in construction engineering management. Um, I then worked for Costane, worked as a site engineer, quantity surveyor, um, estimator. I've now taken on the role as a mobile BIM technician, which is looking after mobile technology across the business. Um, I work for another organi organization called COMMIT, um, which stands for Construction Opportunities for Mobile IT, which is an organization of um, construction, technology, academic, and individual partners. It's a community that all get together and talk about how we can um, use mobile technology within construction and improve what we're doing in terms of mobile technology within construction. And I'm also undertaking an engineering doctorate at Loughborough University looking at mobile technology within BIM. Um, so this is our approach towards mobile technology. Um, traditionally, technology projects are IT-driven IT projects. Mobile technology is very much user-driven. There has been significant demand pool driving mobile technology throughout our business. Users are very aware of the capabilities of mobile technology as they're using it in their everyday home lives. Therefore, there is a significant high expectations of how the business should use mobile technology. The applications we're implementing are all managed through a cloud-based solution. So we can push out, push out applications to multiple platforms and collect data back through a central location. When considering the type of mobile applications we use within our projects, we must also consider wider dissemination and ensure that these applications are scalable across the entire business. The ability to work both offline and online is crucial due to the nature and environment that we work within. In order to maximize the potential benefits we gain from mobile technology, we must ensure the mobile applications we are using are interoperable and they are compat compatible with our existing systems. The main purpose of mobile technology within our business is to re-engineer user experience with existing processes to fully exploit the capabilities of tablet devices. We don't want to just recreate paper-based processes on a mobile device. With mobile devices becoming obsolete after a year, we have to be device agnostic. So forget about the device itself and concentrate on the software we're using behind the devices. So I'll talk to you now a bit about MobiCloud, which is our in-house platform for developing applications. Uh, this is a two-year EU-funded project, which is ending November this year. Commit the organization I spoke about earlier um, are also a partner within this project and appear as our uh, Swedish development company, which are actually physically developing the applications, and Costain, we're the construction arm of this consortium. And basically, this is a platform for developing uh, configurable, um, tailored, very specific construction need applications that we can then use throughout our business. And the first application we've developed is the site diary application. And the idea behind the platform is that we'll create um, an e-toolkit, which is a container application, which will contain a suite of applications that our engineers can use throughout our business. 
But the first one that we've developed is the site diary application. And this is briefly what it will look like. Um, so this is what's being used in the business. And this is how we're collecting information, site diary information, through the mobile devices, which is all then collected centrally. Um, and there's a web-based service, so you can manage the service. So previously, where site diary information was lost, um, this is all now being collated centrally. Alongside of that, we're also using off-the-shelf solutions um, that can fit in very nicely into our everyday construction processes. So priority one is an off-the-shelf um, service that you can get. And it's a location orientated um, based on your project drawings, which provides a form-based solution which can be used for task management and report, reporting. The solution is completely configurable, um, which manages workflow, especially with complex forms, um, which is all managed through the application. And we're going to be trialing this system through a number of our projects. Um, once the trial period is over, we'll then look to wider dis 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 dissemination across our projects. So future considerations towards mobile technology. There's been loads of innovation throughout our business in terms of mobile technology. Um, lots of really great innovation, which we don't want to stifle, but we also need to control the mobile revolution that's currently happening within our business. We need to ensure that all the solutions that we implement are compatible with one another, and we need to have a standardized approach towards mobile implementation, ensuring we're maximizing the potential benefits. And these next areas are kind of the key areas that we're going to be focusing on in the future, and we think mobile technology can impact, which is data capture out on site, access to document and data retrieval, integrating with the 3D model, GIS technology, augmented reality, access to existing business systems, and any project-specific requirements. So every solution that we implement needs to be tailorable and configurable to individual project needs. So just briefly touch on our experience with augmented reality and how we've used that within the business. Um, London Bridge Project, which is the photo in the top right, we used augmented reality to visualize the hoardings um, before the project actually went ahead. So we were able to demonstrate to both the client and to the emergency services that we weren't going to create any bottleneck situations with passengers or block any of the CCTV cameras. Um, the bottom two pictures is um, a visualization of the A465 scheme. And we used this as a public engagement piece. So we gave members of the public um, iPads and they were able to come down and view the complete scheme to see how it was going to interact with their everyday lives. We've also done a proof of concept using augmented reality for maintenance. And we're also at the concept stage at Heathrow at Hammersmith project as well. Um, so it's a really interesting technology. It's just finding practical applications throughout our business. So the main challenges that we face with mobile technology has really been threefold. It's people, process, and technology. Um, technology is probably seen as the lesser of the issue now because technology can more than meet the demands or the requirements that we have as a construction sector. Um, processes is a particular challenge because we've got a number of different processes that have all developed over decades and over large periods of time and it's how we completely re-engineer those processes to accommodate a tablet device. And probably the biggest challenge is people and how we change the culture of people um, to work in this new way. And the overriding initial challenge that we face as a construction company has been health and safety. Um, so this is in terms of actually getting the mobile devices in the hands of the engineers out on site. Um, unless we can fully um, demonstrate that we have addressed health and safety and the end users are going to be 100% safe. Um, all these other issues, such as culture, re-engineering the processes, simple interfaces, um, are irrelevant unless you can get the mobile devices out in the site in the first place. So what have we done to conquer this initial um, health and safety issues? We've updated our health and safety policies to accommodate the safe use of tablet devices out on site. 
we're treating mobile devices the same way as we would treat any other construction tools. We're using lots of hazardous um, tools within our construction environment. And the way we use those safely is we write specific risk assessments and method statements about how to use those tools. So we treat mobile devices in that same way. We write a specific method statement and risk assessment about how to use a tablet device. We're educating the entire workforce, and so not just the people um, using the tablet devices, but everyone out on site, exactly what these tablets are being used for. We still have a blanket ban on mobile phones. Um, we're using these for specific construction tools, and it's how we educate and train our workforce as to how these tablet devices are being used. We have to choose the appropriate hardware, so consider the type of tablet devices we're going to be using. Are they suitable for a construction environment? And do we have the right personal protective equipment, PPE, to accommodate the use of mobile devices? And we need to ensure it doesn't compromise any mandatory PPE that we're currently using out on the site. So all the gloves need to be touch-sensitive screens. Um, we need to have carrier devices so the users can have three points of contact um, while they're using ladders out on construction sites. All these things need to be considered. And then the applications and software that we're using as well needs to be simple and intuitive. We need to ensure that the users have the minimum amount of interactions with the tablet devices to minimize the risks of using um, mobile technology out in the field. So in summary, um, mobile technology is bringing significant benefit across our entire business. We have to use mobile device management to manage safety and also the applications that we're using out on site. Mobile technology is impacting all disciplines um, across all sectors, so there are significant benefits to our whole business. We have an opportunity to become a market leader in mo mobile technology and construction. Um, and I look forward to an exciting year ahead. Uh, thank you for taking the time to listen to the presentation today.